going to see a button check, or we'll see. Trends and losers. One. Oh, that's right. You're right. Fix that up. All right, so they're getting right into it. Kenny sticking with the Diddy Kong. Everyone's liking the counterpick Diddy Kong against against Rand. It seems to be a uh, a good character to combat his uh, particular playstyle. Yeah, he loves to stick out forward air and there, and Diddy's fair just comes out before either. Sometimes. Yep. Just meet him halfway. You yeah, have the ability to have that great banana set up when they're both at high percent, so he doesn't really have to mess around with crazy trades. Yep. Ooh. It was a good narrow to negate the banana. Yep. Ooh. That's something a lot of people need to do more of. Uh, you can actually clear the banana, even if it's on the ground, if uh, your projectile is low enough. Yeah. I know uh, like characters like Bowser can just do Fire Breath and negate the banana. Luigi's Fireball also should be uh, effective at certain ranges. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ooh. almost a combo. Jab, jab. Ooh. The platform got in the way anyway, but still. It was close. Ugh. And the up smash. Well, Dren's out for blood this game. Looking way different. Oh, we're going to see a Dren reset. I haven't seen a Dren reset in a while. Mm. Good up tilts and up. And mm. Why are you air dodging? Give Ugh. me that. Give me those cookies. Got them snickerdoodles on like. Oh. <gasps> Oh, Dren's confirms are just insane. Like he picked, he is literally just on fire straight from that set with Korean. That down smash sending a message too. Like you better stop that rolling. <laughs> Got that scouted. I see you, I see and you. I raise you a down smash. So, see if Kenny can like do some damage control. Yeah, I would not have gone for a jab after getting the banana trip. Oh. This is insane. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what is he going for? Oh. The forward air. What forward else? Air. I thought he was going for the nair. <laughs> oh. I thought we were going to see jab up smash right there, because the platform was moving uh, favorably to it. Mm -hmm. okay, he's got the banana. We're going to see a setup. Ah, uh, nice grab. That's so cool that he can just throw eggs while holding the banana. Oh! oh. 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 He's just a boy! Oh, God. That was disgusting. So Darth Mickey not messing around. <laughs> Kylo Dren is back with a vengeance. Yeah, he's given, given in to the hate. <laughs> <laughs> the anger. The dark side. All right, Kenny. Do you have an answer for this? We shall find out. The dark side is spoken. The port of the light. So yeah, that, that's like the best way to open up grand finals. You, uh, with, if you're coming from losers. With a two-stock. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very solid two-stock. I don't know if Kenny should have went back to Smash, though. I, yeah. I think, like, the thing that really helped Kenny with Diddy in this matchup was Battlefield. And um, not taking Dren to Battlefield and letting Dren play his game. Like, the thing that's making Diddy so good here is the fact that it's combating his playstyle. So why wouldn't you take him to a stage that will purposely cripple his playstyle? Yep. Darren wouldn't be able to do so much uh, flying around if there were platforms in the way. Yeah. And his, the, the platforms would also cover him from the eggs as well. Yeah, and the platform on this yeah. stage only helps him by giving him more recovery mix-ups. And the ability to do that jab. Oh. <laughs> oh. Frame trap. Oh, no frame traps. Nice up air. Darren tried to recatch the banana. Being right smart, there. waiting on the platform, not going for anything too crazy. Almost gets up tilted. Oh. Kenny's got to watch these short hops, man. Might get flash kicked pretty soon. Nice yeah. Power shield. There it was. A dash attack. It's so good for just like cleaning the entire stage out of opponents. Are we going to get an edge guard or is he just going to try to establish stage control? Ah, rip. He should have let that go way earlier. I know in a lot of situations when you charge, when you get caught charging, you just finish charging. Because it's like, maybe he'll run into it. Yeah, and it actually will work. It's, it's a decent mind game. But in that situation, if he'd let it go immediately, he would have only been able to suffer a weak punish. Wow. Good smash. That range. That range sucked him in. Get over Ca here. Caught him doing whatever it was that Darren was doing. It doesn't matter what you're doing. 
get over here and get in this up smash. Nice by Darren. Good egg damage. Yeah. If Kenny's not going to be taking it to stages that are going to be beneficial to him, I don't see why he shouldn't just switch back to Ness. Yeah, I think his Ness actually would do better on Smashville. Yeah, because you got the back row cheese that let him knock green out. Oh. Ooh. The thirst. Wow. Call out. Wow. He's having such a hard time landing right now. This is going to be a quick 2-0 for Darren, quick the guy. Are we in best of three? or? Yeah, those is be this is best of five, so okay. this set's not over yet, but we're looking like a quick two games pretty soon. Yeah. I don't blame Dren for going for that. That was close. Yeah, he's just... Kenny's just having a really hard time, like, getting anything started. Dren is just shutting down every option. And Kenny's not really in sync with the, uh openings that Dren is providing. Yeah. Ooh, Darren nodding his head. He's feeling it. Kenny's really got two options if he wants to stay competitive in this. He's got to start making better stage decisions, or he's got to switch to this. Yeah. He's sticking with Diddy. Okay. We're going to Dreamlet? Alright. Finally. I was waiting for this. <laughs> I think you were waiting for it too. Yeah. One, go. Yeah. I'm definitely not a supporter of the salty run back in grand finals. I mean, money's on the line. That that's do what like you gotta do. the salty run back is either when it's like last stock, last hit, or if you have literally no answers left. Yeah. I mean, like you don't salty run back a two stock. You adapt, and then you you counter pick and you two stock him right back. Yeah. Nice banana pull. Whoa! Okay. Almost a gimp opportunity. So punish on that with dash grab. That's one of Yoshi's laggiest moves. Yeah. You wouldn't you would never know this character had lag <laughs> otherwise. It's like wait, if dash hard grab can be punished? It would be hard to notice. Yeah, I think the biggest thing with Yoshi is not necessarily that his moves have low lag, it's the fact that they're ridiculously their hitboxes are enormous. So if you try to get any kind of in any kind of position to punish anything Yoshi does, you're just gonna get clipped and trade with it. Like Nair, that thing is like, it's a it's the size of another character. It, it, it hits all around him. Yep. And if you try to punish Nair, you just like he clips you with it. It does like two percent, and he gets stage control. So Kenny doing okay for now, but uh, the first stock has yet to drop yet. He's definitely doing a lot better than he was previous. Ooh, that was risky. He's doing a lot better than he was prior. Oh, right, he's he's getting a little greedy for it. Almost snipes him with the egg. Oh, that would have been terrible for Kenny if he sniped him there. Yep. Uh -huh. I was expecting an up air punish after that. Right there, you see the platforms getting in the way. Yep. Can't do that on this stage. Yep, giving Kenny more places to drop his banana. He can toss people up into it. <laughs> Wispy. <laughs> oh. Nice down smash. First stock. Gets the, right. kill. Yep, the back hit of down smashes are just universally stronger in this game. It's the hit that you want to hit with if you want them to die. Uh, he didn't really commit fully to that uh, roll read. He wound up not getting anything for it. Good for it. Nice meaty F smash. Just extending this lead. Trying to go for the grab. Nice monkey flip to punish Dren picking up the banana. And there you go, banana up smash. All right. Dren keeping it close. Yeah, 50%, not that big of a deal. Yeah. How Dren plays this uh, this low percent game against Kenny Stock is going to decide what wins this match. Yep. And I know that Kenny's... Uh, he's played Dren to the point where I don't think he'll be falling too much for the low percentage gimps anymore. Is that like a grab release attempt? It looked like it, yeah. I do approve of grab releasing Yoshi by the ledge. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I think by the ledge you could get some things, but really anywhere else, grab releasing doesn't give you that much of this game. Nice attempt, trying to close things out once and for all. Oh, Darren had the right idea there, just to execute it. 
Now that dash attack. Bad trade for Kenny. He's off yeah. stage. Good down tilt. Ooh, yeah. goes for the Hail Mary. Yeah, a, a lesser experienced player against Darren might have got hit by that, but Kenny's wise to that. Yep. Oh, now it's back. Anyone's game. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Kenny. That was the commentator's curse. I said Kenny's not going to fall for any of those spike attempts, and he got spiked. You were doing so well, Kenny. I think he had the right idea. He just kind of let... Like, Dren's playstyle, from what I've seen, it's like... It snowballs. Mm -hmm. And, like, he picks up momentum over, like... Or as, like, a specific game continues, and he'll, like, pick that momentum up, and if you don't, like, disrupt it and slow him down and force him to play your game instead of his game, he's just going to keep, like... Like he's going to start landing things that he normally shouldn't really be landing, and it'll just escalate yeah. and escalate. And then he, he, he doesn't actually play the fastest Yoshi that I've ever seen, but he, he definitely plays like the best egg control, yeah. and uh, his offense just flows really well once he has you. Yeah. Conversely, though, I'll say that if you can stuff like his specific brand of offense, he's got very little to respond to, mm -hmm. as was demonstrated when they played in the Winners' Finals. Kenny did a great job of just counterplaying. But I'm I'm really like Smashville again. We'll see. Kenny's doing better. Yeah. But he's still but getting trapped. Again, all this open area, that's what Dren loves. Yeah, that Oh, Dren. oh. I wanted to see Dren man up there and do another Nair. Because I think he should he could have made it back with his double jump still. Yeah. But be that as it may. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, even though he's playing better and he's more in tune to Dren's habits, like, direct habits, like, the sheer advantage the stage is giving Yoshi right now over Diddy Kong is really negating all that. Like, he has got to, like, fully commit to the counterplay with Diddy with, like, better stage picks. Mm. Or he just needs to... This yes. Is, this is 100% Dren's pace right now. Yep. He's like, my banana... Uh, my punishes, my stage. Oh, okay, forward air. Thought he was gonna monkey flip. Good down air. Oh my gosh. That is oh. a very. Kenny's laughing it off. And Darren just like, We take those! <laughs> we take those! The dark side always takes those. The dark side always takes those. <laughs> the dark side does not believe in charity stocks. Yep. All right, so Darren has won four straight. What's up? Oh yeah. All right. All right. We got Theus hopping on. All right. So, what do you think of the match going so far? I think personally, I think Kenny could definitely be more, a little bit more patient. I see Kenny going into the air a lot and trying to trade with these interactions with Yoshi, but it's not working out well for him. Like, see, like, Dread is going into the air and he's punishing with a, a lot of up airs, and I think Kenny, especially when he has a banana in hand, he could be on the ground and he could, like, punish like a Nair or something, like, yeah. directly off a shield. Kenny, I think, once he gets the lead, which he has now, he should definitely just play patient. Yep. As soon as he has the lead, um, Dren's forced to go on the offensive. And on stages like Dreamland that really hinder his specific style of offense, um, that's really like the ideal situation that Kenny is trying to force by using Diddy Kong specifically. Right. Um, I also feel like ooh, nice that was a really good punish. So now that Kenny has the lead, he d he's better. He better play a lot safe. He's yeah, just I guess camping a lot more. And hang on to the banana. Let's see if let's see if Dren will even give him another banana. I think he's looking for it right now because he doesn't have it. Yeah. Ooh. I think he needs to be like forcing Dren like up and away so he can get like tech chase reads on the platform and just tack on more percent. He's got to keep that wall. Yeah. I think it's also harder for Diddy because even as a Toon Link main, like I can keep Yoshi out with boomerangs and arrows, and it'll give me time to pull out a bomb. But Diddy Kong doesn't really have other tools to keep uh, Yoshi out. So if he's pulling a banana. And there's only there's only so much uh, Yo uh there's only so much Yoshi can really you know go for. Yeah, like Diddy really has to decide like, am I gonna punish this? Am I gonna edge guard? Or am I going to risk it all and have the banana advantage when he comes back on stage? Right. 
So it, it especially it especially hangs on the fact that um, Diddy needs to win the neutral first and then get the banana to get more momentum. Yeah. So if he doesn't have a banana in hand and he's playing the neutral, it's really hard, especially with somebody like Dren who's yeah. looking for like moments where he's just gonna, you know, pop another banana out. Yeah. And the banana is not really a good tool to zone with either. Yeah, he's doing most of his zoning with forward arrows, which are probably his his overall best tool against Yoshi because it comes out super fast, has good knockback. Ooh, nice. very nice read. And this and this is the kind of um, this is the kind of uh, performance that we saw out of Kenny Poo in Winners Finals when he would kind of put put Dren outside of his comfort zone and then just pressure him and pressure and pressure him and just milk his lead for everything he could get and then just close the game out. Yeah, so for as much as I was paying attention from the last game, the one where uh, Dren beat him just going into losers, um, I think what Kenny, what the big thing that happened with Kenny was the fact that he was trying to zone him out and he was playing, trying to play as safe as possible. So Dren was just reading the crap out of him. Was just yeah. like, <laughs> so th that's why like when you Especially when you're coming into losers, you need to you need to recognize that that they're they're gonna expect you to be playing safe because you're losing and you wanna you know try and get a momentum going and then once you start to get a momentum going then you can kind of drag it out. But yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised that Dren ran it back. I mean, salty run back factor or yeah. Does he, uh, like, being on these platforms for Kenny isn't really doing him much justice, especially since Yoshi loves you being in the air. Yeah. I mean, I would rate Yoshi eggs just as good as Toon Link Bomb, just because you can yeah. capitalize so much off of them. The egg up air, egg forward air, egg nair. Yeah, so in general, you just don't want to be in the air, especially with Yoshi. You want to be un either under him or, like, completely away from him. No. Oh, Deep no. Kong? Deep Kong? No. No. Uh, that's, that's not That's so a good unfortunate. Way to start. Yeah, if Diddy ever doesn't ever start like his barrels sometime like at the lip or above it, he's not coming back. It's just the unfortunate part about Diddy's recovery. He relies so much on being able to recover like pre uh, like like he has to set up his recovery lot uh, in a way in advance for him to really make it back from like super deep levels. Yeah. All right, so he's playing pretty well, but he's just got a huge deficit he's got to climb right now. Right, yeah. And I know understand that Kenny has to be really aggressive because he's not in the lead, but at the same time he need because Dren isn't gonna approach him so much, this is, is like the perfect opportunity for Diddy to really, you know, bring out some bananas and get some momentum going. Because yeah. Dren isn't going to necessarily uh, approach Diddy, which will give him more opportunities to pull out bananas. Yeah, like right there, he's just hanging out around the platform throwing eggs. Yeah. And uh, I think it'd be better if like Kenny like takes a step back pulls a banana and takes kind of a more calculated approach. Definitely. When he, when he has the banana in hand, he has the advantage in neutral. Yeah. So if he can like pull the banana and take like a more careful attempt on invading Dren's space, he should be able to close the stock out with yeah. like a little bit of rage and maybe have some kind of clutch factor. Yeah. Because right now, like, ooh. Oh, oh, no. I was going to say, hey, right now, um, the one thing that Dren really needed to tell, or Kenny needed to tell Dren was, um, even though you're in the lead, you need to start approaching me. Otherwise, I'm gonna get all of these amazing tools to yeah. like go at you. And he's not utilizing it. He was just yeah. And he was just in this mindset where he has to win the neutral first and then pull a banana. Yeah. Which is really bad. Because if he managed to take that stock, it would really pressure Dren like finishing the game. Because he's like, okay, now I'm in a position where I can get comboed up and I can lose my lead if um because he he's taking advantage of my passive aggressive tone. Right. Even now, like because. Because uh, Yoshi has this lead, he could definitely pull out bananas more. Like even though they they're they're both being aggressive, you, Kenny just has to know like when Dren is gonna you know lay back, relax. Yeah, I mean look, he's like rolling back, going to the ledge. So yeah. like he needs to like run back, pull a banana, and then and then reapproach. Yeah. Especially like as a Toon Link man, I also value a lot um, just throwing your items when it's like at the most um opportune time like as diddy i find like as diddy mains that like, you can kind of like throw the banana without repercussion but as a tomb link main like i've kind of learned that even even bombs like if you don't throw them at a safe distance you're gonna get punished hard and i think that's a very valuable lesson he tries to get the egg off the top oh he's flexing God. on him right now yeah kenny's gotta be careful nice there N nice z drop 
He's definitely going to have to um, play a lot more carefully than he has in the past because he's had two games in this grand finals with double SDs. And yeah. Just like I think I think it's also sitting in the back of Kenny's head right now. Yeah, it's definitely not helping him in the mental game. But he's he's got really good back air spacing. He's he's not really. He's Ooh. like just kind of waiting, baiting out overcommittal uh, actions by Dren. And then, oh, that up smash would have been nice. I don't agree with that banana pull that high up. He was never yeah. going to get it. The down air. I mean, I can kind of understand, like, from a Diddy main's perspective, like, if you pull a banana, they're not going to see it, so it's just going to be a random falling banana that might hit them. But at the same time, you have to also remember that the banana goes away from you. So if they, they choose to go under you, they're not going to... It's not going to matter at th for them at all. Yeah, that and the... Uh and the banana doesn't trip airborne opponents, and Yoshi's not going to be waiting on a platform to kill you. He's going to go up there and shark you with an up air. Right. So all you would do is just go like, boom, congratulations, he's got 3%. You're not really going to gain anything. All you're doing is holding yourself in place so Yoshi can kill you. Good up smash, but it's kind of stale at this point. So uh, He got yeah. separated from the banana. He's probably going to need to, like, good back air. Ooh. That's very get that good banana. Air. Yeah. He's just leaving now it Now it's kind of even, so Kenny can kind of work around this, but he has to make some pretty good reads, and he has to stay patient. He needs like, to right now, he needs to just, just like, probably shield more, because I know Dren, he's only putting on pressure to make sure, like, good F smash. Ooh! The air dodge read almost gets it. Yep. He needs to take advantage of Dren kind of playing in this, like, now I'm in your face, now I'm not. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, not, not high enough. It, well, even at that position, there wasn't really much Diddy could do about yeah. uh, Yoshi being that high. Because as a Yoshi main, you're probably going to want to be as high as possible when recovering. Just because it's a lot safer for you overall. Especially since the kind of air mobility Yoshi has. As long as Yoshi is really high in the air, it's not going to matter like what you do to him. You're not hitting him off. Yeah. He's approaching a lot with like this full hop egg. If he can like get underneath that and go for like some kind of combo starter. Yeah. He's also having an issue. He's getting separated from his banana a lot. He's going for the pulp. Oh, oh the shield break. Okay, that's, that's game. it. Good set. Th that was good. Dren just really got a chokehold on um on Kenny like right from round one, and he just would not let him out of it. He just kept the pressure on. He kept the yeah, mind game. I think Dren had a big advantage going into this, especially after fighting Korean and Korean switching to Diddy. It yeah. gave him a good idea on what to look for. Not only switching to Diddy, but switching to Diddy when he already had a two-game deficit, meaning that he was free to experiment against Korean's Diddy and figure out ways to adapt his play style. And right, like, yeah. He was figuring out like how people are counterplaying his Diddy. He got like a, a couple matches where he pretty much had free experimentation, and then he was able to just kind of pull it all together beat Korean, and then he had the ability to just, like, steamroll his way and just carry that momentum from set one all the way into set two. Yeah, I honestly think that Kenny probably should have maybe chosen S for a little bit just, you know, just to throw um, Dren off, you know, so he's not, like, thinking so much about the Diddy matchup. Yeah. And then after, like, even if even if Kenny were to lose the match, match game between um, between Dren, it would, it's, it would still be a lot more forgiving for Kenny if he should he switch back to Diddy. Yeah, I think um I um Yeah, but from uh, from Kenny's perspective, I would have like Smashville and Final Destination should have been your like your toxic stages. You just stay as far away from as possible. Right. 